emailing from the 7500 is easy as well. Choose email. We can create a new recipient and type in an email address. We can also change from to to CC or BCC. And then we choose our ad. Choose close and there's our recipient. There's also an address book feature if your address book has been built. You can go ahead and type in first letter or first few letters and it'll just search your address book. We choose a user and I'm going to choose BCC this time. So you can clearly see our 2 and our BCC. You can have multiple 2's and multiple BCC's and CC's as well. By default our auto output color is auto. Uh, we can change to black and white, grayscale, or color if you wanted to. Our two-sided scanning is one-sided by default, but we can choose two-sided as well. Our original type for emailing is auto-defaulted auto to photo and text, but we can choose photo, text, or map, or newspaper magazine to get that fine quality we want. Under advanced settings, we can change our lightning and darkening options by pressing and sliding, sharpness, and saturation. Image enhancement, we can choose a manual contrast or an auto contrast, as well as a uh, auto suppression or off for background suppression if you're copying on color, from colored paper. We can also change the resolution from 300 dpi all the way up to 600 dpi. It will make a larger file, but you'll get the highest quality scan. Layout adjustment, we can change our uh, original image orientation, landscape or portrait or upright image. We can also change our original size in case we're doing a mixed sized original of letter and legal. We can choose mixed sized originals from here. We can also use edge erase. We can choose a all edges option where let's say we want to remove one inch from all sides or we can choose individual edges. Maybe we're trying to email something that was hole punched. Well, if we come about a half inch over from the left hand side, we can remove those hole punches. Um, maybe what we're trying to scan was printed off the internet and it has the URL on the bottom. Well, we can come about an inch off the bottom and it'll automatically remove that bottom inch. Maybe you want to, fa maybe you want to email over a uh, fax. Come an inch down from the top and you don't have to have everyone know what phone number um, that the fax came from. So these are just options we have in our email. Other email options we have, we can change the file name. Clear text. And type in a file name. As well as we can change our file format from PDF to a TIFF or JPEG. We can create a message for this one as well. Save it. And we can change our reply to address. And that is email on the Xerox 7500.